All right, now we've removed the flywheel and got rid of a significant amount of weight out of the engine. Uh, we're going to talk about removing a piston. Now, I don't have a um, piston ring compression ring tool, so I'm not going to completely remove it, but I'll go through the process. Um, so first up, the um, you want to turn the crankshaft so that the piston to be removed is at the bottom of its stroke. Like I've done here, bottom of its stroke. Now, next you want to um, remove these two self-locking nuts um, off the connecting rod bolts. Um, and then you want to remove the cap and the bottom half of the big end bearing liner. So I've already loosened one side, I'll pull those off now. Bear with me. So, locking that's removed. Now I'm going to pull the um, cap off. Be very careful. And now half of our uh, bottom half of the big end bearing liner didn't come off with a cap so as you can see there nice and oiled I'm just gonna pull it up because they recommend you keep the two parts in their respective areas as you can see there there's a little locking tab there to keep it in place now the other thing too is you'll see there if it will zoom on me number three and there's a corresponding number three here. So if you're pulling more than one piston out, you can keep track of it by matching the threes up. Very ingenious. So once you've got this off, the next step is to push the piston and connecting rod assembly up and out of the bore, taking care you don't dislodge the other half of the um, big end bearing liner that's just sitting just in there. So if I had the correct tool, and again, you'd pull up. So I'm just gonna push down because it's upside down for me. See there, pushing down and out it'll go out of the liner and I pull it out the top. So that's the process of uh, removing the connecting rod and piston assembly on a Fordson Major Diesel. I'll bring that back up like that and then I'll reassemble. Alright, till the next one.